Hello everybody, I'm Victor Althorp, Olympic speed skater, and in today's video I am here to tell you a little bit about this, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, and how I've been using that in my training, but also just the rest of my life. I do have a life outside training, actually. I'm not going to talk too much about the specific details of the watch. If you want to find the weight or the sizes or what's not, you can just check the link below in the description and go straight to the Samsung website where you can find those. So I'm going to talk a bit about, a bit about why I think this watch is great for skaters, great for, great for athletes, or just anybody that uh, care about their health because it has a ton of insights on your health, on your well-being, stress levels. Some that I find incredibly cool, a lot of oxygen, um, saturation so that you know how adapted you are to the surroundings. In my case, I am at altitude right now training in Salt Lake City, which coming from sea level in Denmark makes a huge difference in your oxygen uh, saturation. I went from 98, 99 before leaving and as I got here I was all the way down to 93, which uh, is a pretty good uh, indicator that you're not ready to train hard. So I've been following those on the watch. On top of that, the watch can also measure your body composition. Um, usually I'd be pretty skeptical about this. I've been using this daily for three weeks now, so I can't tell if the baseline is perfect, but it's very consistent and I can already see some trends. I'm going in the right way, season is approaching, I'm getting a little leaner. Keeping track of body composition is pretty cool. Uh, simple feature, you just hold two fingers here and, and wait for less than half a minute, and then it measures that. And I do also have the Samsung S22 uh, Ultra Phone. They work together very nicely. So all that info, instead of sitting on a watch and looking at it, it will transfer directly to the phone, of course, and then I can look it up in the Samsung Health app. So that's pretty sweet as well. Other features, tracking your sleep. Um, really nice, it comes as part of the HRV measurement and the heart rate measurement. So that it sends out under the watch. I don't know if you can probably see it, um, but a little bit of light. Obviously you can't notice too much uh, and that just measures how deep your sleep is and the overall quality of it. It can also give you indications if you are stressed or if you just need to rest a little more. It's a pretty sweet feature as well. It might not be active enough, then it will tell you you haven't done your daily step goals or you should probably take a little break from sitting down. I get that on rest days from the watch, which is super useful because often I have a habit of either going really hard at training or doing nothing at all. And if you do a full day of nothing on your rest day, well, the day after is gonna feel terrible because you went fully into hibernation. So it keeps you active a little, even if it's just with a uh, recovery mindset. It's super light if talking or looking at the hardware. It is very close to the wrist. It uses this magnetic lock, which is super nice. So this one basically just goes up and closes in there. Very smooth around the wrist, much lighter than any, well, both smartwatch or and or training watch that I've used before. Um, so that is actually a nice thing. Uh, I don't really like having anything heavy around the wrist, especially not when skating. There's an arm swing and you can just feel that there's extra stuff to move around every time you take a stroke. So having a light and pretty compact watch, as you can see here, is a big plus. Um, also use it for training. It has pretty nice features. You can even customize the different disciplines. So right now I got the standard one out here. If I just try and get that focus here, I got the standard one to be cycling here below, but I managed to even put inline skating and trust me, it has it has more uh, more different events than you can imagine. It starts a countdown and uh, well, I'm not going for training right now, so I'll cancel that. But then uh, you get into your workout. It's so a measure, the HRV has the GPS signal, um, so it also tells you um, how fast you're going, where you're going. Next to the phone also, and the Galaxy Bots, so um, I can also control my music, or if I'm listening to a podcast, I can do it all in the watch. Like smartwatches, it has all the smartwatch features and the sportwatch features, so you still get notifications if you like that. Um, pretty convenient if you're driving or if you just don't have your phone up here all the time. It's just a super cool watch. I mean, I like how it looks. It doesn't look too sporty. I wear it for anything, um, which usually I didn't really wear a watch when not training. So uh, I'm not late anymore. <laughs> super nice watch. And I invite all of you to take a closer look at it in that description. Thanks for watching this. Um, yeah, I enjoy sharing everything with you. And this is, even though it's a sponsored post, it is something that I really found to be beneficial for me in my training. So um, yeah, always a pleasure to share with you. If there's any questions, 
Let me know in the comments and um, stay tuned for the next video. See you around.